for today's project you're going to need construction paper, some kind of ink or finger paint, the lid off of jars like this Pringles can or this uh, Chips Ahoy can, scissors, straws, crayons or markers, and a uh, tape or glue. Now the first thing you do is you make the medallion. So take your lid, like I've got here, and punch a hole in it with your handy dandy hole puncher. Now what I did to make this work is I pushed the lid up and through and then I did a double hole. It also makes it easier at the next step. Then you draw your circle. Take your circle, put it down on the paper, whatever you've chosen. I happen to have been given some um, scrapbook paper and I liked the look of it, so that's why we're using it today. Take the lid and just draw a circle around it. And then cut it out. If the kids are doing it, tell them that if they don't stay in the line, it's fine. In fact, it's best to be a little inside, just like this. Now once you've cut out your artwork, then you get to decorate. I've got stickers here. You can color it. You can um, use a glitter glue, markers, whatever you want, just to make it look really cool. Make sure you leave space because the next step is most important. Once the kids have decorated it, then take your, your circle and using fingerprint, finger paint, or some other item, you can use an ink pack too, just stick your finger in and put your finger right there, making a fingerprint for your child. Don't forget to wash it off afterwards because it'll get everywhere. Once the artwork is done, take your plastic lid and your special art piece and make sure it fits right in, just like that. Then take your handy dandy hole punch Put it back where you've already got the hole and re-stamp it right through the paper, just like that. Now, pop it out again, because you already got the holes, and use either glue or tape, depending on the age of the child, to hold it down. I like glue because it's really easy to hold tight. Now, take a piece of string, give it a good length. I go from my fingertip to my shoulder. Go a little bit extra. We start by putting our medallion in the middle. Then we'll put this to the side for just a little bit and we'll get the straws ready. And all you do is you take your straw and you cut it into little pieces, just long enough so the kids can get it through, but not too long because if it's too long, it's very, very difficult to get all the way through and string. What you do then is you take your straws you've just cut up. In this case, I have a whole bunch of different colors here. And you just start stringing them. As you can see, it'll just go right on. If they're having trouble stringing their straws, a little secret I've found is called the bobby pin or the tape. You put it right on the edge in here, just like that. And then you tie a tiny knot like that, it'll go right through the straws. Now, once you've got your medallion partially made, in this case, all that's left is actually the most important part. You gotta measure it. And that's why Wally's here. I just took a few seconds and stepped out, finished making the knot here for Wally. As you can see, it's right on the back here, and I did a double knot. So, I hope you enjoyed our clubhouse craft today. And I hope you enjoyed our time together. I'd love to have you come back and join us in our clubhouse. So if you enjoyed it, put a thumbs up below. We would like to thank Miss Lily in Pennsylvania. Hi, Lily. Mrs. Maria loves you. Brogan and Guinness and his mommy, their mommy in Pennsylvania. Kelton Elton in Pennsylvania. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. And thanks for coming into my clubhouse.